Unfortunately, anti-Asian sentiment is not new, but since COVID-19, there's been a rise in the number of racist attacks against Asians. This morning, what it takes to solve these crimes and new federal efforts to stop the hate. We do want to warn you, some of the videos you're about to see are disturbing. After five attacks on Asian Americans in just two days in New York City, the mayor launching a task force and website to make it easier to report potential hate crimes. No place for hate in New York City toward our Asian brothers and sisters. In Los Angeles, U.S. Air Force veteran Denny Kim beaten. And they started calling me Ching Ch uh, Chinese virus, just all sort of all sorts of nasty stuff. It comes after at least 18 attacks in the San Francisco area this month, including one that killed an 84-year-old immigrant from Thailand, Vicha Ratanapakti. NBC News first reported on the spike in anti-Asian incidents last spring after the nonprofit group Stop AAPI Hate created a national reporting system. AAPI is an acronym for Asian American Pacific Islander. They recorded more than 2,800 incidents in a 10-month period last year. It happened in an incident. Sam Chang's mother was attacked last week in New York. How did she want to handle things? She actually didn't want any trouble. She wanted to, you know, just put it all behind her. But Sam and his friend, actress Olivia Munn, posted these images captured by witnesses who followed the man. Police made an arrest the next day for assault and harassment. So what would you say to folks who feel like, I don't have this kind of voice? How would you encourage them to speak up? If you can learn to not be afraid and not to just bury your own pain, um, you'll see that there are so many people in our world who want to help us. Deputy Inspector Stuart Liu heads the NYPD's Asian Hate Crimes Task Force. In 2019, NYPD recorded three hate incidents against Asian Americans. But in 2020, that number jumped to 27, an 800 percent increase. As I understand it, the task force doesn't actually go out and canvas the neighborhoods and build those community policing relationships. Should the task force take a more active role in the community? I, I would love to do that, and I, I think it should be done. The, but the task force is comprised of detectives who are already assigned to squads all over the city. So we, we don't have the, the proper resources. Two detectives, Vince Wu and Danny Zhang, try to break down language and cultural barriers. They say building trust in the communities they serve resulted in 20 arrests last year. Uh, we will help you. Do not be afraid. Do not fear of retaliation. Don't worry about the language barrier or your immigration status. We're here to help. Now lawmakers want Congress to pass the No Hate Act to improve hate crimes reporting. The new action welcomed by Sam Chang. He read this message on behalf of his mother. Uh, thank you for everyone who has cared and has reached out. Hope everyone doesn't discriminate between races and lives in harmony and peace. Now, NBC News contacted the suspect in Sam's mom's case. He said that footage of the incident was selectively edited and that fuller video from multiple angles would vindicate him. He also said he was defending himself after the victim sprayed mace into his face. Now, authorities say if you are a victim or a witness, report the incident. And if you can do it safely, try to get photos or video that helps them solve these crimes. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.